goes. Get you going here. So I'm just going to write over here just to remind myself again. It's y equals mx plus b. The m in this case is here. It's one fourth. The b is this whole part of the rest of the equation, which is negative one. I have a y axis and I have an x axis. My first point is related to the y intercept. So my y intercept is negative one. So I look on my y axis, I find negative one, and I make a point. From there, my constant rate of change, which is my slope, is based on the, oh, which is based on the slope. So I have one fourth. The one is your rise. So, so that means up four. My run, I'm sorry. Oops, that's my way into some. My run is four. So my run is always four, well, to the right. So this is four right. Okay, so let's let's take a look at that. My first point was here at the y-intercept. All right, one fourth. Up one, four to the right. One, two, three, four, make a dot. All right, then I'd be off the graph, okay? And I'm going to make another point just because it's easier to do a line if I have three points. So I want to go in the reverse direction of the slope. So it was up one, four to the right. So I'm going to go down one, four to the left and make a point there. I haven't changed the slope. I have just kept a constant rate of change. So let's see. From edge to edge, connect my line. And I, if I want to test it out, I can come over here at the point on the left, up one, four to the right. I'm back at the perfect point. Up one, four to the right. I'm at the perfect point. All right, let's see, what other one? Mm, I'll do number two. Okay. So my slope here and my y-intercept. My slope is negative one and my y-intercept is positive two. So I'm gonna make my first point at positive two to indicate the y-intercept. And now my pattern for my constant rate of change is based on the slope. Anytime you have a whole number, that is equivalent as a fraction to the whole number over one. Because any number divided by one is just itself. So my rise is negative one. Now a rise of negative one is gonna go down so down one and a run of positive one is to the right. Down one to the right. Down one. And I can keep on doing that pattern the whole way so I can get a really good accurate line. And again, I I take my ruler and I extend my line from edge to edge. All right, hopefully that gets you started on this and see you later.